Dr. Noah Ryan, thank you for attending. So uh, today I will uh, talk about the uh, rare example of UOT model to enhance and improve imaging. Uh, so let me first briefly describe the motivation and objective behind this uh, uh, project. So I thought the motivation mission is that the uh, mouthboard can be used to enhance imaging when there is an inadequate uh, reflection primary. <coughs> so our purpose behind this uh, exercise is uh, following those who have pioneered in this area. Uh, we uh, learn and understand the basic idea of using mouthboard to enhance structural imaging. And uh, we not only recognize the uh, values, we also see how that uh, procedure fits in our big picture and how we can provide any values from the tools we developed for some MRC and this history. So having said the uh, objective, uh, let's uh, look at the outline of this talk. Uh, so here is the, uh, the new tree we uh, described in this uh, last condition. Uh, first, I will uh, briefly uh, remind ourselves about the space time points mm -hmm. uh, up and down waves. Uh, and in this section, I will uh, remind ourselves about the 1D net, uh, one dynamics and analytic example shown in the uh, previous uh, document slides. And uh, then I will focus on the uh, providing two numerical examples. Because our point is uh, get uh, the basic idea of using this multiple to uh, enhance the imaging. So we, our uh, numerical example is a simple uh, with uh, 1D Earth. Uh, the example one is uh, uh, consisting of one, one uh, free surface and one uh, single reflector. And uh, the objective, the first example is to understand how to use multiple to enhance the imaging when there is only one reflector in the model. And uh, example two is uh, we based on the uh, model one uh, mo uh, model from example one, we add one more uh, layer, deeper layer, to see uh, how we can use multiples to enhance the medium deeper reflector when there are more than one more than one reflector. So in the end, I'll uh, provide a summary. Uh, so here uh, I the uh, about uh, emitting image two space time points in the up and the down going with uh, cross correlation emitting. I mean, position. One is in the British domain, one is in the Han domain. So uh, you, uh, the T represents the downgoing wave at the subsurface point XD, and U represents the upgoing wave uh, field at the subsurface point XD. And the uh, star here represents the complex conjugate. Uh, again, uh, in the Dr. Wayne slide, it shows uh, this figure and uh, 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 in this figure, we uh, interpret this uh, D as the real field from the source and uh, interpret the U as the receive, uh, receive a primary, uh, re primary real field recorded by a receiver represented by the uh, red dash line and the D with uh, time going real field represented by this uh, red dash line. So apply, uh, with that interpretation, we can actually uh, applying this image condition to correct the located the factor depth. And here, uh, in the analytic example, we can write down the real field at depth. But in practice, we uh, normally use the final difference mo method to uh, modeling uh, the real field at depth uh, with the correct velocity, velocity model. So this is the uh, uh, use of primary for imaging. Similar idea is uh, well, we use the this uh, this type of image to adapt it to use uh, uh, multiple to enhance imaging. So then, if we uh, in this thick experiment uh, we interpret we interpret this uh, deeper field as this uh, uh, receiver side goes associated with the uh, primary represented by the uh, dark uh, dark line solid line, and interpret the up field as a recorded the first of the free surface multiple which uh, as as we mentioned, both source side and receiver side they go state. With this interpretation, we can also uh, correctly locate the uh, depth of the reflector with a different uh, reflection coefficient with this uh, cross correlation imaging equation. Uh, uh, but uh, here, uh, to do this uh, up down, we have uh, we need an uh, effective up down uh, with, with, with your separation method. Uh, uh, advances in the uh, modern technique, acquisition technique, allow this uh, uh, method to develop uh, to do this up-down separation. And the point is, uh, uh, we see the values that uh, uh, 
pioneer in our group by Dr. Ding Fang Zhang, uh, uh, developing a green serum based uh, wheel field uh, ecosystem method. So uh, we think we can add, uh, we will add the values in this effective uh, down separation because uh, the green serum method, the one advantage is that uh, it doesn't require the uh, tables uh, to be flat. It actually can uh, curve or uh, not flat. And that uh, green serum based method can effectively apply to that case. So next, I will focus on providing two uh, numerical examples. So this is the first uh, example with a single reflector case. Uh, as the uh, idea is really in the one denominator case, where if we integrate the D uh, as the material side goes associated with the primary, represented by the black line, and the integrator U uh, up will feel as the source and the receiver side, it goes to the first of the surface multiple. Uh, with this interpretation, we can uh, uh, use the multiple to enhance the image in which, uh, like the image this uh, reflector. So here is the uh, velocity model we use for the uh, wheel field propagation. Uh, we calculate the wheel field adapt. Because we have this own one reflector, we can use this uh, homogeneous velocity model. So uh, the picture on the right shows the uh, results obtained by uh, using the multiple to enhance the image to uh, uh, acquire the uh, image of this uh, unrecorded prim primary. And for comparison, we uh, provide uh, results from imaging the primaries, where uh, in this in obtaining this figure, the P is uh, will field from the source, and the up wheel is uh, the primary wheel field from the receiver. Uh, compare these two figures, we can see uh, the uh, approximate image provided by using primary multiple and show the wider uh, emulation compared to using this uh, primary. So this uh, multiple uh, shows the added value to enhance the image. And then, uh, the next uh, uh, example, we see uh, we add another deeper reflector like like we shown here, similar idea applies that uh, let's say uh, we integrate the D, the downwind wave field, the same as the previous case, the receiver side goes to the first order, uh, the, the first primary, the first, first, first the, the first reflector, and the integrated the upwind wave field as the source and the receiver side goes to the first order for the multiple. But uh, here, there's one uh, upward reflection uh, is the second reflector. This is the difference. And with this interpretation, we can see uh, in this picture that uh, we can uh, use this to image the second reflector. And uh, here is the velocity model we use for this calculated wheel field propagation because we want to image this uh, second reflector. So uh, without this discontinuous this this continuous velocity we will own the get the correct uh, location of this secondary factor. So this uh, shows the uh, results from the uh, image from the second primary. By obtaining this figure, we input the C as the uh, wheel field from the source and the up wheel field from the primary corresponding to the secondary factor. And in, in obtaining this approximate image, we input the but we see as the receiver side goes to the first primary and the U is the source and the receiver side because of the first of the first multiple as shown in this uh, picture. Yeah. This, this first one is. And we can see some uh, artifacts in this uh, shallow depth, but uh, it's uh, because of the reflected wave, uh, backscattered wave from the discontinuous velocity and our uh, limited model. So uh, in the end, I will uh, provide a brief summary. So following those who have pioneered uh, in this area, we use uh, uh, an example to show multiples can be used to enhance the structural imaging provided uh, an effective upper wheel field separation. As I mentioned earlier, that uh, uh, MRSIP provides potassium based uh, deposing method that can provide added values for this effective up-down separation. And uh, also, like uh, in the accurate velocity model, uh, 
in practice, there are artifacts, uh, postdocs, uh, in the real world application. So uh, this uh, procedure needs to be judicious, and limited in practice application. So here uh, is uh, uh, the new tree. We uh, recognize the value, and we, uh, we based on this uh, new tree, we think we can edit the value for this uh, effective outcome separation. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for our sponsors.